Hi guys, my name is Sean. I'm a house plant enthusiast from Jakarta, Indonesia. Welcome to today's video where I'm going to be discussing some of the house plants that has disappeared off Instagram recently or are disappearing. These plants used to be a lot more popular and I'm not trying to do this video to poo-poo them to let you know that oh maybe you shouldn't be buying these. That is not what I'm trying to say. Some of these plants are marvelous in their own right. This right here, the Pelea peperomyides is the poster child, I guess, for plants that has grown out of favor. It is quite beautiful, and I'm gonna have a video on these soon. But they were actually really popular, I would say two to three years ago. Everyone wanted one of these. They were so expensive and so difficult to come by, but they're such prolific grower, and they throw up these free pups where you can propagate uh, from down below. And this can get really big and actually kind of neglected mine, which is why mine hasn't really grown that much over the course of, I would say, a year and three months. So now I'm actually finally paying attention to this. I'm fertilizing it, I'm repotting it, and I'm giving it the right light. So hopefully this will get big because these guys, they can get absolutely huge. And I guess just a disclaimer, a lot of these plants are actually still popular today, but the fact is that they are not as widely posted on Instagram as before maybe because one too many people have posted them already or maybe number two they have become a little bit scarce where a lot of people can't really find them anymore they become a little bit rare so that is possible and one of them is this philodendron pink princess I remember that when I started this plant journey about a year and a half ago I would see so many people posting their philodendron pink princesses and nowadays I don't really see them as much anymore I I'm not sure, but personally for me, I have struggles with this plant because their variegation is super inconsistent or it's super rare where if I buy a variegated plant, it may revert into mostly green foliage. And this is actually my most variegated. I have quite a few of them out in my nursery that has mostly green leaves. And some people did say that, oh, you should spend more money to buy ones that are very variegated. Well, I actually have bought two plants and both of them came very variegated and they just kind of reverted. So maybe a lot of people have lost their excitement for this plant because their variegation is not as often or as frequent as like your variegated Mancera, for example. But this is still a pretty plant and still fetch quite a bit of price these days. And the next plant is this Jopertia or Calathea orbifolia. And actually a lot of Calatheas have disappeared off Instagram, not just this one. Uh, I remember about, again, two years ago or so, a lot of people were posting photos with Calatheas and nowadays it's just mostly aeroids and hoyas and things like that. And people are actually exploring different genuses of houseplants, which is amazing, but these guys are no longer getting a center stage on Instagram as they did before. Another reason could be that people may be growing these. There are a lot of new plant parents these days over the pandemic and they're killing them left and right. So there's not too many things to post about them. So I'll be doing a lot of Calathea care videos very soon, but they're actually quite misunderstood. They're very easy to care for, but you just have to care for them a little bit differently than your other house plants. So the next plant is this Philodendron Birkin, and this was actually in high demand last year. And actually demand has kind of come down a little bit. I don't know why. I have a few plant influencers and even a very famous podcast that said that this was overrated. So I'm going to insert some photos on the screen to show you some photos that I took. And personally for me, this is a very, very stunning plant. It is not overrated and it is very, very, very beautiful. Now, the thing that is most commonly asked about this plant is that the variegation sometimes don't appear or they disappear. Let me quickly take this moment to highlight what happens with them. So Philodendron Birkin is a cultivar. It is hybrid and it's tissue cultured. They actually only put out variegated leaves when they reach a mature size. Now, the juvenile form will never be variegated, but if you give them time, they will keep putting out leaf after leaf after leaf, and you will notice that each leaf will be more variegated than the ones before. However, when they reach a senior age, I heard that the variegation does disappear again. And this is when you actually need to propagate this plant and turn back time, because when you propagate a plant, both the parent plant and the baby plant will revert to a much younger state. So this is a plant that you really have to be on top of and you do want to propagate them often so you can enjoy more of these, you can share them with your friends and families. But yeah, I also noticed that this has a red stem. I don't know if this is normal with Birkins, but this is quite a beautiful 
stem over it. At least it's a sheath, maybe not a stem. So this is quite a stunning plant that is actually underrated in my opinion, and they have disappeared off Instagram. And the next plant will come at no surprise. I don't have it here because I can't bring it over. It is the Ficus lerata or the fiddle leaf fig. And that plant actually enjoyed its five seconds of fame on Instagram and everybody wanted one of those. But then, I don't know, I guess people realize that they are very difficult to care for. They actually need very bright light to live and they don't like to be moved around. So when you bring it home to from a nursery where it's getting different kinds of conditions, even though you may have better conditions than a nursery, the fact that you moved it, it's just going to throw a tantrum. It's going to yell up some leaves. So the care for this plant is a little bit misunderstood and I have a video coming out on this plant species. So do look out for that. But yeah, that, this plant is completely gone. I haven't seen that on Instagram at all. The next plant is a ZZ Black Raven. I'm going to include some clips on the screen because I forgot to bring it here and I have my mic set up and I'm not going to run out to get it. So yeah, this plant actually used to be very, very popular. And then here's where there's two different worlds on how this, <laughs> how this plant is being perceived. Over in the States or in the West, it's been widely cultivated in Europe. So they're kind of all over the place. And in the States last year, Costa Farms, if I don't know, I'm just basing this off of podcasts and other YouTubers, which is a really big grower, actually grew them in a massive scale and they're now available in every big box stores and they've become very, very cheap. So the people no longer find them special, people no longer want to photograph with them. And here in Indonesia or in Southeast Asia rather, these plants are quite rare, like they're very, very difficult to come by. I rarely see nurseries that have them. They're very slow to propagate. Only a handful of people have them. So I guess this is why not a lot of people do post uh, this plant because they're not easy to come by. And those that do, they probably have, you know, tiny ones because they keep propagating it. So this plant has completely disappeared off Instagram. I haven't seen them lately, but they were the fad back in the days. Like, whoa, like everybody wanted these plant. The next plant is this Maranta Leconoria. This is also known as the prayer plant, I guess. When people talk about prayer plant, this is what they're referring to. It is in the Marantaceae family, and this is actually in a lot of people's Instagrams in the past. Like if you have the indoor jungle photos or like, you know, your typical boys with plants type photos, this will always be sticking out in the background and you would always see them. And a lot of YouTubers used to mention this as well, but this has become quite common and there, people, I guess, stop mentioning it, although it's, it is quite a beautiful plant. I am sorry to, to show you only the small specimen of these. I have a lot of them, but they're outdoors. They're doing quite well. And this is actually a plant that does better indoors for me. I noticed that their leaves are beautiful and perfect when you have them grown indoors. But when they're outdoors, I don't know what happened with them. They get a lot of crisping and they get a lot of tears. I think a lot of insects do prey on them. So yeah, this is a plant that is quickly disappearing off Instagram. And I hope that they do make a comeback because they are quite beautiful. The next plant is right here, the Alocasia amazonica, and they come in a smaller variety called the Alocasia poly, where the leaves are a bit smaller. And these guys used to be everywhere. A lot of people like to selfie with them, take photos with them. Maybe people have moved on to other plant species. So these guys haven't really been as popular as of late, but this is quite a beautiful plant. And I actually just noticed right now that the back of the leaf looks so beautiful. It looks prettier from the back than it is from the front. Of course, I'm gonna leave some clips on the screen for you guys to see. But this is also pretty easy to care for, by the way. This is a good gateway alocasia. So yeah. The next plant is right here, the Begonia maculata. They were so popular, I guess, two to three years ago. And everyone wanted one of these. Every, all the YouTubers were talking about these. But lately, I guess there's more begonias that have come into the market and more varieties. So I guess people are exploring. It's not that begonias as a species or as a genus is fallen off our Instagram. It's just that we are now appreciating more types of begonias, but I guess this is the gateway begonia that a lot of people started with. And yeah, so this has disappeared off Instagram, but it is beautiful. And if you watch my baby leaves video, and they put out these baby leaves that are just so beautiful that will entertain you for hours on end. 
And the next plant is the Raphidophora tetrasperma. And that is actually a plant that everybody must have in, I would say, two to three years ago. And I have a feeling that we're not seeing as many posts on these lately because everybody kind of got their hands on one of these. They were kind of expensive, but not unaffordable, but they were still attainable and they grow so fast that I have a feeling that, yeah, it's just everybody managed to get one of these and after a single photo with them or whatever, they decided not to take more pictures with them and they kind of disappeared off Instagram. But this is a beautiful plant that's easy to care for and it's good for beginners. So let's move on to the next plant. This is the Peperomia argeria or the water watermelon Peperomia. And this was all over the Instagram feeds uh, two years ago or one year ago. And I haven't seen them much lately. Although when I did post my video on this, the care and propagation, I got so many DMs because people are killing them left and right. So I'm actually making a second video on these where I'm propagating them like crazy and I'm going to be sharing some more care tips for you guys. But this is actually quite easy to care for once you get the hang of it. So don't give up on these guys. They're quite beautiful. So another plant that has fallen off social media is this Philodendron gloriosum. And this was actually so popular before, but I guess people have now moved on to some of the more fancier ones like your Plumenii and Veracusums. So these guys are a little bit neglected these days, but this is so pretty. It's got really beautiful new foliage that is very pink. It's got beautiful veins. And there are a lot of hybrids too. It's hybridized with a uh, Passizanum to give you, what's the, the name of the plant? I'm gonna include the species on the screen. I can't remember it now, but there's an ant just running around. It's a big ant. <laughs> Hi. But yeah, this is a fast growing plant and it's actually very affordable. The prices has gone down for this plant, thankfully. So I hope that you guys can get your hands on one of these. This has become a very common plant, but it is still beautiful nonetheless. The next plant is this Calathea mosaica. It's known for this beautiful pattern on leaves that uh, look like pencil marks that people drew lines on them, doodled on them. They were popular for a while, but again, in the States, I believe Costa Farms are growing these at massive scale and everybody now can get one of these anywhere. The prices has gone down, so they're no longer considered a rare or, or unattainable plant. Over here in Indonesia, they're quite affordable as well. They do grow quite quickly, but I guess people are just bored with them very quickly. Like the fact that they have really beautiful pattern, people are just like, oh my God, I need one of these. This looks so pretty. But once they get their hands on them, they just figured, okay, I'm just gonna do one Instagram post and then I'm gonna grow it up, but I'm never gonna mention it again because after a while, I guess people lose interest in how beautiful this pattern is. But I don't know, man, I do enjoy watching them grow and I love watching these patterns, but I guess I am a little bit bored by this actually. I'm not, I'm not as interested or I'm not as excited about this plant as I was before on when I first got it. So yeah, this is a plant that is quickly disappearing off Instagram. I'm sorry. <laughs> Next is this Monstera Peru or Monstera Carcentianum. I have a feeling that's the same species. Correct me if I'm wrong. I did not do my research before this video, but I have a feeling, yeah, they are indeed the same species. And this is a beautiful Monstera with very interesting leaves that is very textured. It looks like a reptile. It grows steadily and people used to post a lot of these on Instagram. And lately it's just not as popular as before. I guess people have moved on to other types of houseplants. Last but not least, I want to talk about this Hoya Carnosa Crimson Queen. Uh, they come also in a Crimson Princess variety where the variegation is on the inside. And this is actually a beginner Hoya that a lot of people started out their Hoya collection with. I know that I did. And this is so stunning. It grows reliably, it does flower beautifully, and it's easy to propagate. However, I think people who are into Hoyas have already moved on to more interesting and unique Hoyas. So these guys have stopped appearing on Instagram for a very long time. I do miss these. They look really beautiful. They make a good hanging trailing plant. So yeah, I guess that's all the plants that I want to talk about. I can't think of anything else. If, if you do 
have an opinion on some of these or if you have any plant species to add please do comment down below because I'm sure a lot of other viewers would like to know what other plants used to be popular but this goes to show that a lot of the plants that you know maybe we're enjoying right now uh, that are hyped up may also one day fall out of favor and we just need to appreciate plants regardless of their value on social media or on Instagram because some of these plants make really good lifelong companions and I, this orifolia is so ready to be propagated I think I see two plants here anyways I digress so with that I guess I'm gonna let you go I'm a botanist on Instagram if you want to DM me on any questions regarding plant care and propagation I'll try my best to get back to you do stay safe and I will see you in the next video bye